time to get started. Now, some of people are wondering why I have this table here. And I'll just use this soon. But first of all, we're going to be talking about our problem or trouble in the churches. It happens every Sunday and Wednesday. Why? Well, let's read from the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 27 to 30. Okay? Paul said, just be sure you live as God's people in a way that honors the good news of Christ. What does that mean? The gospel. Then, if I, Paul, come and visit you, or if I am away from you, I will hear good things about you. I will know that you stand together for the same purpose, and that you work together like what a team who help each other believe the good news. And you will not be afraid of those who are against you. All of this proves from God that you are being saved and that your enemy will be lost. Okay? God has blessed you in ways that serve Christ. He has allowed you to believe in Christ. But that's not all. He has given you honor of the suffering for Christ. Both of these bring glory to Christ. You saw the difficulties I had to face. And you hear that I'm still having problems and troubles. Now, you must face them also. Paul had many problems and troubles in his life. People persecuted him. Many people hated him. He's also in jail. But now, let's find out what this lesson's about. Next. First of all, I want to say I love unity as long as everyone is united in what I believe. Why? You will find out. Next. See that world? Different colored people who tend to do what? Hate each other. We should be like this world. All full hands. If it was easier, if this room was brown, we would make it easier to hold hands. Every Tuesday morning, while we have prayer in our staff meeting, I see people holding hands. Why? If they unite as a team. We, for those who are not paying attention, we should be as a team. We should not hate each other. We should not fight. Let me show you an example. Thanks. What causes trouble in churches? Many ways it can cause trouble in the church. Example. Next. Gossip. Bad names. Hate. Who comes for fight and drama. And etc. I'm going to demonstrate for you what trouble looks like.
Now it's black. This is what? Problem. Sin. That's what our life is when we fight, hate, gossip, bad name. This is what it's like. So, I'm going to show you what happened. Yes, I do. 
many people cost me problems. And I know, say, I'm going to cost that more problems. Problem, problem. What do I do? Next. Sometimes people think that's very special. You don't have no problem. It's not true. I have problems in my life. And it's not true. I do have problems. And you know what I do? What do I do? I pray. I do His will. I will say, Father, I have problems. I give it to you. But it's not my want. It's your want. I will do it for you. Another way is easier for me. What? My prayer journal. Every day I come to work, every night before I go to bed, I write a prayer. It helps a lot. I challenge you to do the same thing. Next. I encourage all of you to see this movie. Because it will hit your heart. It is a very good movie called War Room. Miss Clara said, you need to plead with God to do what only He can do. Then, you need to get out of the way and let God do it. This movie will hit your heart. Me, Carl Moore, and many of the staff here at church went to the movie theater watching it. And I promise you, I've cried. A few other people cried. This movie is a very good movie. The woman teaches another woman about a room. A private room where you can pray, where you can study, have one-on-one -on -one God. What are we? We are God's soldiers. We are united under His love. And we are all the same team. We're running the same competition, the race. Brothers and sisters. I need you to help far more than myself. To keep us strong. I need you to keep us up. We feel like we want to quit. Which we'll never do that. I want you to challenge us. To encourage us. To love us. To stand beside us. Because we are strong when all of us are together when we are alone. We can't do the work alone. What happens if we're together? I will show you.
I encourage you to stop arguing, to stop gossiping, to stop the trouble in church. God is disgusted when people say, oh, he's trying to argue, and she's trying to fight. He needs to stop. Stop becoming jealous. This is God's home. Next. Fear destroys. Unity wins. Look at verse 28 again. It says, and you will not be afraid of those who are against you. All this good is from God that you are being saved and that your enemies will be lost. If you continue, continue to love, look, it's more and more and more love. Still filling over. I challenge you to fear God. Why? Did you know that Satan knows the power of fear? He uses it in physical suffering to tear people away from the faith in God. Oh, my body hurt. I'm not going to church. I hate people because I'm scared because someone's going to hurt me in church. <laughs> Don't be afraid. We have love overflowing here in church. We love you. Next. When you and I stand together, it is not us who need to be afraid, but those disagree with, to God's word. We should not be afraid of death because Jesus defeated death. But people who don't know God's word, fear will hit them later. It may seek to destroy, but unity brings what? A victory. When we are united in Christ, you can kill the body, but you cannot, cannot kill the soul. We have a common, same bond, our salvation in Jesus. Again, from the word of Miss Clara, everyone always trying to leave Jesus out. Which is one reason why we are in the mess we are in. Most of you <laughs> just preaching crazy, talking problems on Facebook, talking problems on PP. Causing problems in church needs to stop. If you pray and you say, Jesus, please keep this church clean, keep the people clean, it will help a lot better. Let God do His work. <coughs> this morning, you have learned from Romans chapter 8. Let God do his work. Don't say, hey, I'm waiting for help. Come on, come on. Don't. Be patient. I think that this year, technology has stop. Why? Because technology back then was no problem. But technology today, yes. Next. I challenge you right now. Your love is overflowing. Still going. Stop talking and stop texting and stop 